Hey guys, I'm trying to not to be so loud because my mom's trying to go to sleep. She has to work tomorrow. And, well, you know, someone that drill, you can't be too loud or you might wake up your mother. Let's see. Hope everybody's reading that. The words looking at it. Ugh, politics. I don't think some of you did that. Some of them probably don't want to read that. It's like, no, 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 no. I won't. I won't read it. Yes, you can. Some good history, though. We are children of the stone. She support us, shelter us, I mean, shelter us, offer us the most priceless gifts of the earth, the worldly return to her embracing death, becoming ancestors, the unworthy are cast out, unable to rest, that their failings may not waken the stone. Hmm, huh, they kind of evil to the outcast people, aren't they? I gotta go to the surface. Let's head out to my brother's room. Anything else we can steal in my brother's room? So I didn't care which one it is. She probably disrespects me. She's like, I don't like her. Let's go to father's room. Ancestors, watch over you. I am at your service. Good day, lady. No, I cannot. You can't go to your own damn daddy's room. Congratulations room. on being named commander, my lady. Doing a good job. Let's get out of here. I went to watch the provings. Most exciting. I know you will do House I Duke and proud. I'm beautiful. I know. I'm the most beautiful woman in here. Head outside, dude. Woman, woman, woman. You how dare you load this screen at me? I will kill you like the blood is drenching in the loading screen. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the Diamond Quarter during these celebrations. My lady? Are you excited about the battle tomorrow? Yes, I yearn to face the Dark Spawn and prove my worth as your second. You'll do fine. May the stones support us, and the ancestors look down with pride. Tell about your father. Tell me about your family, Grim. Not much that you don't already know. My father's father was a great hero of the Deep Roads excursions and raised the family to the top of the warrior caste. He was even nominated to join the assembly and found a noble house, but the honor was in the nomination. He wasn't afforded a single vote. My father served your father for many years, and now I serve you. You should get going. As you will. I am at your service. Oh well, yeah, why are you gold? I'm sure we can work this out reasonably. It's in the records. There's nothing I can do. Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lady Idukin, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Idukin, Paragon King, Peacemaker. Oh, I greatly enjoyed that book as well. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. What does it say? It doesn't matter. It's all lies. What exactly has he written, Pilton? He says that Volney, the paragon who founded my house, known throughout the world as the greatest of men, was a fraud. Not precisely. When the Assembly names a paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. But what was that condition like before he was a paragon? Iduken was much loved, but he was still a man. 
He was plagued by melancholy, and his fervor regarding Orzammar's safety bordered on obsession. When Idukin was proposed as a paragon, only one lord in the assembly objected. The others savagely hacked him to death. Idukin's motion passed without a single dissenting vote. Unlike Volney, is that what you mean, old man? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. Scully's right. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon Idukin? The truth is more important than your pride. You would not say so if it was your house. But I shall respect your wishes. For now. Excuse me, your highness. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lady? <laughs> Do, but make it look like an accident. Ooh. Understood. You've shown yourself more daring and aggressive today than most believed of you. Someday I hope to write of the great exploits you are sure to perform. Word has been sent. He won't live past the hour. You've shown House Idukin a friend to research, history, well, I did and the leave glory it open of the crack our so people. You can hear Mom. When she yells again. Oh. You can. You. Hmm. You can eat your stuff. Carry on with your work, scholar. Of course. I have much to document and organize. Good day, your highness. And thank you. No problem. I'm at your service. He won't live past the hour. <laughs> We're here. Silvers for such a small bolt of cloth? That's outrageous. You certainly have some gall, merchant. But my lord, these are surface silk. Died with the finest sound Did you see those noble hunters? Shameful. I've seen the noble hunters are out in force, it seems. So I pay your exorbitant the finest in home decorations! Looking like a poor imitation of Prince Balin. <laughs> You'll get no coin from me. But that's not what I meant, my lord. My lord! My lady Idukin, you honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? Of course. Please, look as you will. I was trying to ask him, okay, what's that little fight about? You don't have much, dude. I don't have that much gold, neither. Hey, I'm supposed to be like the richest person here and I don't got no gold whatsoever. Nothing. Nothing beats a good set of steel cutlery. So let's keep going about his house. Even her up to join them. You don't think she's still out there? Impossible. It's so interesting to see a lady chosen to be commander. The finest in home decorations! He sounded kind of a little bit freaking sexist there. I trust follow, big sister. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling's second, I will ask for it. Yes, your highness. Oh god, that sounds so mean. Guys, little brother, really help me out here. You're on your own. I've been dealing with him all afternoon. 
What exactly is that supposed to mean, little brother? Uh, nothing, Trian. I've been having a great time. The speech you gave to the legless boy about hard work and making something of himself was fantastic. As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast. It's cute how you think you can go over me around. I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. Ignore him. It's my day, not his. That it is. Let's get back to enjoying it, shall we? Oh, God. My lady, I do can... Nothing here rivals your amazing Iduken armor, but if you wish something made... You know very well how Iduken has its own royal armorers. Of course. Forgive me. So many warriors anyway, merchant. You honor me, your highness. Oh, God. I have no money. <laughs> you just hate that. You hate that so much. Who said I won't be able to word it anyway? Word? No, because this is not my main guy, person. Oh. Nonsense, woman. Your words bring shame upon our house. See how the edges are rough and pitted? Would you compare this to Bronca's work? <laughs> Trust a woman to speak of things she doesn't understand. Be quiet now and pray the ancestors deliver Bronca back safely. Oh my god. How rude. <laughs> no sign of trouble here. What about that one? I doubt he's up to the task. I'm not going down that road again. Oh, I would love to end up with a redhead. Would that Sir Blackstone were a noble, hmm? Stand up straight. They're coming. Greetings, my lady. May I say you look striking today. Is this your paramour? He wears both his van braces, unmarried and eligible. I'm flattered, ladies, but I'm not a noble. I'm a knight of the warrior caste. Warrior caste isn't bad. Telly, we didn't pay gold for these permits to take warrior caste. I guess you're right. Sorry, sir. Why does it matter if you're a noble, Grim? They're noble hunters, my lady. Because a man takes his caste from his father, they hope to bear a noble lord's son. If a noble hunter succeeds, she is raised up to join the house as a concubine to care for her son. It brings new swords to a house, so many nobles look favorably on such women. <laughs> These girls do you please me. <laughs> I only use more darling Adukin swords. Then perhaps you'd tell your brothers to come say hello? Telly, mind your manners. No, it's all right. I'll mention you. Mwah. My lady is kind and generous beyond her duty. <laughs> I don't want one of my brothers with someone. Have you gone to watch the provings, my lady? I am going there. You will certainly turn many heads today, my lady. They're fighting the Provings in your honor, my lady. How romantic. I know. Invest in the next great trade expedition! Greetings, my lady Iduken. I am so honored to have you visit my booth. I have a proposition, but I dared not approach. Yet you dare now. It's all right. Let's... I'll hear him out. Very well, then. Speak. Um, yes. Just so. Here's the thing. What I mean to say is... It's all right. Sorry. So nervous. I had a dagger made for you as a gift for your first command. I uh, sent a messenger to deliver the dagger to you. Prince Trian had him thrown out. I don't know what offense he caused, but I had him beaten severely.
Let me see this dagger. Here, here it is, your highness. That's an amazing piece, merchant. You do me much honor, sir. The blade has been crafted over a period of two years by masters of every art. I wish to bless the lady's first command and hope that someday, when she rules, she will wear it. Tree and his heir. He will rule when King Endrin returns to the stone. If the assembly wills it. Forgive me, sir, but whispers say the second child of Endrin will be chosen. Whispers indeed. It's a princely gift. If Trian recognizes it, though, it may send the wrong message. Or the right one, depending on your view. Damn what he thinks. I'll take it. Thank you. You bring uncountable honor to me. What he means is that you'll bring uncountable gold to him if he were that piece in public. Hmm. Eh, I don't mind. Look, look how it looks. See what it looks like. How you turn this character around? How you turn her around? How mean? Oh, look at it, you guys! Look, 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 awesome! Mm, 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 mm. It's all shiny and everything. Thunder. Only the freshest food for your noble table. Why are you lying to me, ma'am? Most exotic wares in Orzammar! You are a treasure of House Hydugan, my lady. Oh, why you tell me so? Oh, Lady Hydugan! Here, in my booth! I am so... Oh. <laughs> He's fainted. You make quite the impression these days. I am beautiful. Is it hard to be the king's child, never able to just blend in? Sometimes. It's the price of power, I suppose. Shall we move along? Yes, let's move it on. I'm getting sick and tired of everybody looking at me and staring at me and, like, you know, I'm beautiful and all, but... My lady, are you heading to the Proving Arena? 